It's all kicking off in Glasgow on the eve of the Old Firm title decider, season defining, all that good stuff. We've already labelled it so many times. But has there been a gender mislabelment in Glasgow? Is that why there's such a heavy police presence? I'm not too sure. But there's police everywhere in the Gallo Gate area of Glasgow. Celtic fans, the Green Brigade, they waved off their men to battle earlier on today in the daylight. But night time has fallen and it looks like the battle has begun. There's conflicting reports, right? It would be very easy for me to say the Green Brigade are doing something or the Union Bells are doing something or the police are doing something, but there's just police cars. There's just groups of people being surrounded by police. I'm not too sure what's happening, but I'll ask your expert advice and opinion. What's happening? What's going on? Uh, it's Glasgow. We have two sets of fans that hate each other, probably getting pissed before the big match tomorrow. I think that sums up pretty much everything that's happening, you know what I mean? Like, yes, I think that's pretty much summing up what's happening. A casual, ultra-official post it on Twitter, Union Bears in the Gallow Gate area of Glasgow tonight. I mean, when I'm talking, there's police cars, there's about, there's about 15 of them there. There's a lot of fans being barricaded off. There's an image of about, I mean, I'd say that's probably about 30 police officers there, as you... You can see there's a lot of people in blacked out attires, which is what Union Bears and Green Brigade roll about in. So there's a lot happening there. Um, now apparently they're heading, there's reports, people are saying on Twitter, that they're heading towards uh, the hotel where Celtic are at, which I forgot the name of the hotel. Do you remember the, the name of the hotel off the top of your head? Oh God, it's a four-star hotel. I it's, a, it's a four-star hotel. I got the Brendan feel... Rogers Butt Buddies Hotel. I think that's, that's <laughs> that might be it. the Triple Bs. Uh, nope. The Triple Bs, but uh, I mean a heavy police presence nonetheless. We've got loads of people reporting it. Glasgow Green tonight. The old firm Barbies kicking off and say what you want, right? Yes, these are to be labelled as unsavoury scenes, right? But is this shit not better than half and half scarfs that I've been seeing getting sold for the Man United Liverpool game? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's not even a derby game. It's a, it's a rivalry. It's, oh, you won a couple of trophies. Oh, you've won a couple of trophies. That's what it is between United and Liverpool. It's pathetic. Like, I mean, yeah, Manchester and Liverpool right on a map. It's not too far away. But it's not. It's nothing really, Um, you know, it's not It's not a rivalry. Like, I mean, you, all these, you listen to the pundits, man, they're like, oh, what's the biggest game in British football and the, uh, some of them Steve Sidwell coming out saying Liverpool Man United well, no, what's he smoking when he says that and then that Karen Kearney said City City United even worse Yeah, no. <laughs> even though that's more even though that's like a legitimate derby in terms of uh, proximity and like city and location I mean Jesus Christ the Manchester derby is fucking dead because I, I tell you what it's like ever since Man City got really good Man United haven't been good like, yeah, yeah I mean, there was an initial couple of year period where when City were coming up and Man United were like hanging on to their top spot, there was maybe a couple of seasons where the Manchester Derby felt like it was a big deal. But now it's like Manchester City just win the majority of them. They're always fighting for two different things. Manchester City are fighting for the league every single season. United sometimes are fighting for top four. Other times they're fighting for the manager not to get sacked. So there's like, you know, they're never really in the same fight. Plus, with the Premier League, it's not the same as the Scottish League. Premier League, you only play each other twice. And there's like other big teams, right? They've got like, you've got your top six or whatever. And obviously now there's better teams in Brighton and Aston Villa, all that stuff, Brentford. But with the Scottish Premiership, I mean, I know it's not necessarily true, but people do say that, you know, the old firm games can decide titles. So like every time Rangers play Celtic, it, it could have a drastic effect on who wins the league. Man City, Man United doesn't have that. Yeah, no, it doesn't. I mean, Man United, I guess, beating Man City could put a dent in their title pursuit, but it's not going to win Man United the league. Yeah, it's not, but I'm not going to... I mean, last season, well, right... See, I think Man the Manchester derbies always seem to happen around the middle of the season when it's like... Yeah, but... If you win, lose, or draw, you can the, make the, it up. The FA Cup final last season was between United and City, and that was a, ta a chance for United to stop them doing the treble. Did it feel big? No. And it should have. Yeah, like it just. Yeah, it should have. But if Rangers didn't. had the opportunity to stop Celtic doing a treble, that would feel massive. Yeah. Now, um, this isn't. This is a pretty unreliable source. But apparently, earlier on, I've seen a comment here. Uh, some guy on Twitter saying saw them get smashed around Bridgeton earlier. Fifty Celtic to three hundred Rangers. I mean, if it was three hundred to fifty, no wonder they got smashed. I mean, that's quite a number in there. I mean, that you're out. You're like five times outnumbered there. 
It would take 50 good men to beat up 300. Unless it's like 50 Steven Seagals, which I'm obviously going to go for the Seagal side of things. God, I think, I think you'd need really good men, to be honest. Yeah, and obviously, you see, you're, you're going to have the ultra groups fight each other, the hooligan things. Yo, I don't... You know what's funny about that, though? There's actually, like, like you know, Rangers, Celtic fans, whatever, who actually fly out to the European away days. They do, like, a, a, a two-minute scrap, and then, and then, like, that's it. Imagine flying out, though, to for an away day just to have, like, a two-minute scrap. What's it, what's and and you could lose. Oh, yeah, you can go to... You're probably going to go to the game as well, but... Uh, Mental, but yeah, it, it's kicking off, guys. It's kicking off in Glasgow, and uh, yeah, you don't see this shit doing in England in here. We're not encouraging violence on here. We're not saying, oh, we hope there's going to be 50 million dead bodies by tomorrow morning, but it sounds like this to set this derby apart for the rest, all right? And uh, we'll be back if anything else breaks coming out of this, but uh, yeah, I mean, that is pretty much everyone else rec- uh, reporting this. You've got Casual Ultras official. Um, there's actually another clip here being... I've just seen it. There's flares being released. It's all kicking off. Let's see. There's people running down the streets. There's not many people here. There's about, what, 12 or 15 people here in that shot. Um, that's probably about... There's, there's quite a lot of people at that bus stop there. There's a lot of police. Police cars kicking off. Who's going to win tomorrow, though? All this fighting. And, and, and it's things like this, though, that probably reduces the chances of an allocation ever returning to a full stand. Isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I mean, th- this is just going to be an argument against why we can't have full stands, because look at the trouble that it brings, etc. So. If you remember that old firm, uh, February 3rd, 2022, Celtic won 3-0. But that was one of the very few old farms that took place at night. You just couldn't do an old farm at night with a full stand. Oh, not really, unless you had boxing gloves ready. Or the police had M16s on standby or something. Like, I don't think you really could do that. But that's where we're going to leave this video, guys. We'll be back with some more content very soon. We've got our combined 11 coming up tomorrow morning. So if you're an early bird, I'm sure there'll be a lot of people waking up early tomorrow with hype for the game and all that good stuff, but we'll be there, of course. And then, yeah, if you want to see the review, half two. If you want to see player ratings a wee bit later after that, one side's going to be happier than the other, guaranteed, that's for sure. Because even a draw, one side's definitely... I mean, decisions, we've got to bear in mind what happens in the game. A team could be winning or get clawed back there's going to be reds there's probably going to be all that good stuff but anyway till next time peace